there everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another exciting video I hope everyone is having a great so in this video I'm going to be focusing mostly on the GPU intense game because the CPU I'm using is a CPU that I've already used in a previous video so you might be asking yourself what GPU am I going to be looking at this time around? Well, just like the title says, I am going to be taking a look at the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080. Now, a little background on this graphics card. It came out in 2018. So, at the time it came out, you know, it's considered one of the best cards to get. It was able to play most of the games at that time at max settings 4k so I'm definitely curious to see just how well it plays games in today's day and age and of course you know the graphics card does sport 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 you know has full PCI 16 lanes it's not cut down like any of the newer cards that have come out so it's definitely a, a fully equipped Hard. Now, of course, the CPU that I'm going to be pairing it up with is the i7-9700K, an 8-core, eight 8-thread eight CPU, so, you know, no extra cores to help it, and oddly enough, the CPU came out in 2018 as well. So, this is a hardware combination that actually is going to pair up very well, or at least that's, that's what I'm guessing. Of course, I'm going to run through all the GPU intense games just to see how well the RTX 2080 can handle them so I'm definitely looking forward to that so of course as always before I get to those videos just remember to like and subscribe to the channel check out all my links down below you know definitely pay a visit to my Etsy store buy a shirt or more importantly definitely pay a visit to my PayPal link send a dollar to my way you know I mean I definitely could use all the help I can get you know one day I I would love to have a an actual studio and be able to do do lots of good things you know but of course I need your help in order to do that but at the end of the day I'm always thankful for you know all the likes and all the views so okay so with that out of the way let's go ahead and get to those games What up everyone, so in this one I'm playing Destiny 2, I'll be using the i7-9700K paired up with the NVIDIA RTX 2080. So as always let's take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here, go to video, alright, so there it is, full screen, 2160p, also known as 4K resolution, and I'm playing on high settings. So these are the second to best settings in Destiny 2. So we'll just take a look and see what that looks like. So as you can see on the screen there, a lot of highs. And of course the render resolution is 100 because you know we definitely want to play at a true 4K resolution. So that's what I'm playing with here. Again, Destiny 2 has some customization which is always good so all right with that out of the way let's go ahead and open the director hit down to the cosmodrome select the steeps and yeah just hit the launch and as always i mean let's just see how many frames per second i can get using this hardware combination
Hey there everyone, so in this one I'm playing Lost Ark. I'll be using the i7-9700K paired up with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. So there it is, 2160p, 4K resolution, and I'm playing on very high settings. So. In Lost Ark, these are the highest possible settings. You cannot go any higher. You can see all the boxes are checked. Everything's, yeah, I mean, the best you can get. The only other thing I could do is just increase the resolution, 8K, 12K. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and just jump in the game. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using the RTX 2080. Hi there everyone. So in this one I'm playing good old Rocket League. I'll be using the i7-9700K paired up with the RTX 2080. So let's take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. Playing at full screen, 2160p, 4K resolution, and I'm playing on the uh, the highest possible settings. Of course frame rate is uncapped because I want to see just how many frames per second I can get. But in a Rocket League, there is a, there, there are no higher settings. It's as high as you can get, you can see everything's checked. I mean, the only other thing I could do would just be go higher on the resolution, 8K, 12K, 2400K, or whatever you want to call it. But that's what I'm looking at there. So, all right, let's go ahead and back up. And of course, as always, let's just jump into a good old three by three match and let's just see how many frames per second I can get using the RTX 2080. What up everyone? So in this one, I'm playing CSGO 2. I'll be using the i7-9700K paired up with the RTX 2080. So as always, let's take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. Full screen, 2160p. Back let's just go full screen here. So you can see that's what I'm playing with there. Then as far as advanced video, I'm actually going to be playing on the lowest settings. So, and then what I'm going to do is of course disable any FSR, DLSS or any of that. Because, you know, definitely want to see how many frames I can get with the least lag. When you play games like this, it's all about not having any game lag or input lag, as most gamers call it. So this is what the settings look like. So, you know, not a, not a whole lot to see. I mean, even with the update, I mean, you can see CSGO 2 doesn't uh, have a whole lot there. So, alright. So with that out of the way, of course, let's go ahead and just ready up here. Jump into a match. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this hover combination. What up everyone? So in this one I'm playing Dead by Daylight. I'll be using the i7-9700K paired up with the NVIDIA RTX 2080. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. Playing on ultra settings, so these are the best settings in Dead by Daylight. 
Playing at a full render 100%, 2160p, so it's a true 4K resolution we're playing at. Of course, V-Sync's off because we want to see how many frames per second we can get. And of course, Dead by Daylight has an FPS limit of 120, so you definitely can't go higher than that. I believe I've played around with it, so there's just no way around it. Of course, there is some anti-aliasing on, so... Of course, it's nice that developers gave us this finally, so that way we can actually see what I'm playing with there. But that's what I'm playing with there, so not a whole lot to see. So, that out of the way. Of course, as always, let's go ahead and just ready up. Jump into a match, and let's just see how many frames per second I can get using the NVIDIA RTX 2080. What up everyone? So in this one I'm playing Apex Legends I'm using the Intel i7 9700K paired up with NVIDIA RTX 2080. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphic settings. See what I'm playing with here. So playing at full screen 2160p also known as 4k resolution then of course v-sync's disabled because we want to see how many frames per second we can get and plus that's what you know uh all the uh amd in sync and v-sync and all that is so uh playing on high settings so these are just about the highest you can get in uh, apex legends i mean the thing with this game is not really a whole lot of customization. I mean, the graphics are fairly simple. I mean, coming to the conclusion that just about, really just about any system can, can run this game early, but it's a fun game. Definitely no complaints. So, all right, with that out of the way, go ahead and ready up. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get playing with the RTX 2080. Hey there everyone. So in this one I'm playing good old Fortnite. I'll be using the i7 9700K paired up with the Nvidia RTX 2080. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings. See what I'm playing with here. I'm playing at full screen 1800p which is very close to 2160p 4k resolution. I mean if you didn't have a resolution display honestly you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference between the two. So, as far as the settings go, playing on medium settings. So, this is what medium settings look like. Of course, ray tracing is disabled. And yeah, definitely nothing, nothing fancy, nothing out of the ordinary. Once you switch to, uh, to medium settings, that's pretty much what it changes everything to. So, not a whole lot to it. So, all right, with that out of the way, of course, let's go ahead and back up, ready up, and as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using the NVIDIA RTX 2080. Hey there everyone, 
So in this one, I'm playing the Rocka Blade Point. I'll be using the i7 9700K paired up with the NVIDIA RTX 2080. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. So, playing at full screen, 2160p, 4K resolution. Of course the frame rate's at unlimited because I want to see just how many frames per second I can get. And of course V-Sync's off. And playing with the DLSS on. And I'm playing on the uh, the highest graphic setting. So in Naraka, there's uh, no higher settings than this. So that's what the settings look like there. So overall, not too bad. I mean, there's definitely some customization you can do with this game. So all right, let's go ahead and back up. And of course, let's just jump into a quick match solo. And let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. There is no more. <laughs> Too dull to fight with. The shadow will soon spread. Not the first, not the last. 